Hello everybody, this is Mr. Oz Video 1995 here with a brand new video and here with you doing another first time watch um, in my series of first time watching and as the title present I'm going to give my thoughts, initial thoughts on Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings which came out in 2002 what, yeah, 2002, 2001. Have a look. I'm pretty sure it was. Have a look. How about that? Two thousand and one. Two thousand and one. So yeah, sorry about that. It's very confusing. As I said, this is um, a movie that I have just watched. I've never seen before, uh, and I kind of feel I'm ashamed myself. I'm really ashamed myself that I haven't seen this one before. I thought I'm. I've always known about you know what these movies are basically about. And stuff like that, and a lot of people have to talk about them, you know. And a lot of people say they're like epic films and stuff like all the three um, Lord of the Rings films, um, because these are based off the um, um, novels from J.R.R. Tong. Um, you know what I'm talking about? The best of novels, um, the author directed by Peter Jackson. And of course, you have the three main Lord of the um, films, uh, the main films, and just recently the, you have the prequel ones with the Hobbits, um, to un it's an unexpected journey, and the Desolation of Smog. Which yes, so, and as I said, the first time watching this film. And it, it is a very epic film. Now I don't know if this is which one, which out of the three ones are considered the best um, out of the trilogy. Um, you know, people don't know. Like, but I guess these are films that you have. In, they are continuations of the films. Now this is the, I believe only the standard DVD version. I think you know, because there's the different versions I think the um, standard version is uh, because this only runs for 171 minutes and I think it's the extended version which it has an extra half an hour or something don't quote me on that um, but again it is a courage of fellowship of friends and allies Frodo, Frodo embarks on a, a mission to destroy the legendary one ring um, the dark lords and right into middle earth and them when of four academy walls this epic tale of good versus evil friendship and sacrifice will transport you in the world beyond imagination and it is it is amazing it really is a landscape of it um of course this was sh um shot in new zealand i believe um um, this was shot in New Zealand. Um, it was it is an epic film, it really is. And what no um I've only added the whole thing, I've only seen one other Peter Jackson film, which was um which was which was uh, King Kong. The um two thousand five one, which I enjoyed that one. I really did enjoy that one. Also, he was also a producer of, yeah, he was actually a producer in King Kong. All these ones. So, yes. Um, nothing more to say about it. I think, um, sorry about saying ums and memes. A, 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 a lot of guys awards you, you play Fido, I think you've done a good job. Um, Ian McCullen. Um, yes, yeah, amazing film. 
real magic a real magic one of the best films of the year that no, follow as it in this is this the DVD version sort of comes with a little booklet yeah. I haven't seen any special feature of this one yet. It comes with um, special features, featurettes, hidden hobbits, comes alive, exclusively 10 minute behind the scenes scene, the original um, theatrical trailers, and uh, stuff all there. So yeah. And yes, I am um, as I said I don't have the other two versions, the other ones yet. I most likely will probably will try to rent them on my on my tablet, sort of. And because they've got Google movies and T V shows on there. So I'll probably will rent those other ones and probably get the other Lord of the Rings movies down the line. I do have the first, I do have the Hobbit, um, the Dismaster of Smog as well. So yes, so my thoughts on Lord of the Rings. Is it as um, good as everybody make it out to be? Yes, it's a it's a good movie. It's a good thing. I can't wait to see the other ones. And again, these are films that I watched today. And I I watched the first hour or so. I went to do something else. You know, watch the other another hour. You know, it. I just can't sit there three hours watching a movie. You know, because you know, because you have to get me around things, and it, and I really don't have time to dedicate three hours constantly and just watching a movie you know so it's good it's good to you know get around some more and get back to watching the movie it's the same one when I watch when I watched the Ten Commandments you know I watched a bit of it when I did done something went back and watched it again and so yes so if you have seen all the rings which most likely everyone in the world has what do you think about the film leave a comment underneath and if you are enjoying these um, first time watch. Hope you enjoy these videos. Down the line, down the line, I will probably will post or probably will give you give you a couple of options which ones I should watch next in my um, collection because there are quite a few ones that I have never seen before, especially a lot of older ones like Ben Hur, like Spartacus, um, just to name a few. The Killer Mockingbird, uh, things like that. So I'll probably will in the next couple of videos time, probably pop out which one I should watch next, and I'll watch it and give me my thoughts on the film. So I'm I'm stopping stopping you rambling on for the last for how many minutes? Until my next video. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.